Alright, it was good y'all, so I'm about to break down the sample right now, so let's get straight into it. So I started off the, uh, this sample in ash light inside of contact. I went with the needle sticks preset right here. I turned off the grain and I think I did some manipulation to the sample, but here's what it sounds like now. Kind of like an ethnic stringed instrument, something like that. It says here, right here, saunter. I don't know what instrument that is, but it sounds pretty crazy. Anyway, so I made a super simple melody with it. Basically, I start off with these notes right here. I'm just gonna delete the bottom notes. And as you can see, this is just four notes on repeat. So after I had this, I pitched the ha second half up one octave. And after I pitched this up, I just added the roots notes right here for the G minor. No, it's the E minor and this is the third note. So this, these notes right here would be the E minor. And I just deleted this one, pitched this one down right here. So we got the root notes uh, for the E minor. And then right here, it just goes up here and here. I don't know, I just added these notes. But these notes together becomes the E minor chord. So it goes like the root note and it goes up here and then up here. But after I had this pattern, I layered it with the Omnisphere. So I layered the pattern with the Omnisphere and the preset is Crystal Sonar inside of the Moog Tribute Library. So we got the context right here and we got the Omnisphere right here, same pattern, and I run with both of them to Mixer Channel 1. So I start off with an EQ, after that I added a delay tape. This preset right here, I've been using this way too much bro, I gotta chill on this preset. I added a reverb from Arturia with the chorus plate preset, and then I added a soothe to clean the sample up a little bit. I went to the start flat preset, I just turned up the depth a lot to 6.9 right here. Turned up the sharpness and the selectivity right here. After the soothe, I went into to sound shifter and I pitched down the sample six semitones and finally i added another eq to take out more of the high frequencies right here and finally after the eq i added a portal as well the finessa preset inside of the distra 2 bank so after i had both of the contact and the omnisphere being ran through the effects chain i exported it to audio and now it sounds like this But yeah, that's the first pattern. After this, I was stuck for a long fat minute and I didn't know what to do with this sample. So yeah, but I didn't know what to do. But anyways, I went to Analog Lab and I found this preset right here that I made. It's from my Indigo Bank, the Stylist Pad. And here's what it sounds like. Yeah, so super simple pattern, just following the root notes right here with the E, and then going up seven semitones here at the end to the B, which is the fifth of the chords. The effects I added on the pad was a little bit of panning to the right, a little bit of stereo separation, and an EQ boost in here, and taking out a lot of the lows. After that, I added a bass, which is a one-shot bass. Okay, FL Studio is tripping right now, so I can't find out which one-shot kit I got this from. But it's a bass. Got this aura since a scary preset inside of the synthetic uh, collection i need to grab this whole whole kit but the aura kit i don't know what it is i need to find it and i need to copy it because every single one of these presets inside of the serum collection are crazy so i need the whole everything that this guy has made but i went with this preset and i made this pattern e to e one octave apart then going up to this uh, fifth of the chord you know e minor then b at the top going up to the b and then here same thing back to the chord going going up to the a instead and then here it goes down to a pretty simple you know just using your ears i start off with the e to e start off somewhere and then i just followed my ears basically The effects I added on that was just an EQ right here to get the highs, the lows, and a reverb uh, with these settings right here. So now that I had the serum element in the loop, I wanted to add another serum element. So I went back to serum again and I went with the lead future inside of the alpha sound kit right here. <laughs> Thank you. 
And honestly, I just freestyled with the keys right here. I tried to find a nice rhythm and some notes that went well together. Some half steps here, half steps here, some half steps here. Usually works when you're making lead melodies that you want to like sound kind of evil. So the processing on this uh, lead is just an EQ right here. Took out the highs here because it was pretty harsh up here. And then a reverb Valhalla Vintage Verb with these settings right here. But yeah, that's all the patterns to the sample. Arrangement is pretty simple as you can see. I got all the sounds in the beginning and then in the second part I just took out the lead. And then for the final part I just took out the serum as well so get a little more like chill chill part going on here with not so many harsh sounds but yeah that's it then i took this uh, little wave file right here with the stems and routed it to mixer channel 16 i added a sooth just to clean it up a little bit more and uh, yeah here's the final product Alright guys, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I would appreciate it. And yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video.